Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I am your host, Shenra, and today we're playing Aragon in your open of Vesalis 4. I uh, clicked a button by accident uh, before I started recording called Superintendence, which uh, increase, or lowers revolt risk by 1, and it also increases the stability cost by 6%. So, yeah, whatever. So there it is, Superintendence plus 6%. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we are coring four new provinces, that's fantastic. And we are also working on converting a few, um, where is it, missionaries, no not missionaries, yeah missionaries. We're working on Aragon and Orange. So once these two finish, we'll have our capital province and our namesake both converted to the religion. The current religious standing is like this, it's pretty bad, we have a long way to go. Uh, we're going to work on it. Uh, we have a bit of a problem right now uh, because Milan is right next to us. They kind of hate us. Don't know what mission they have. They do have conquest on Aragon. Yeah, so they could declare war on us. They have 36,000 troops and their land tech is 19, whereas our land tech is only 16. So hopefully they don't. But if they do, we're going to have to ferry some troops over from the New World. Uh, we do have 22,000 guys over here, so it's not like we don't have troops. It would just take time to get them to the front lines. We also need to deal with these frickin' particularists. Can I just deal with them? I mean... Accept demands. What do they want? Decentralization for 30 years? Ugh. Revolt risk goes down, national tax goes down for 30 years. That's almost worth it, but eh. Uh, let's not worry about it right now. We could do some harsh treatments, but I really need to get my my uh, military tech up. So I really don't want to waste all their our uh, points, our tech points, our military points on um, on that right now. So let's go ahead and finish up some of these sieges. Well, this one siege, kill some dudes. Portugal just took uh, two hundred ninety. Ah, only three hundred ducats, but they took some ducats. Good for them. Okay, our soldiers have arrived over here. Uh, how close are they to finishing what they want? Oh, they're a long way around. These are Dauphinese nationalists. Psh, who cares? The one I'm really worried about is these guys, because that's a big stack. But I think we're okay. Let's just dump off some dudes and go help. Alright, we won. They're dead. Everyone come this way. My vassal's over there? Yeah, Brittany, my vassal, is going to go do that, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, come this way, people. And my ships might as well come over here. You guys are patrolling our trade, right? Yeah, good. These guys might cross into our land. These are Grenada nationalists, but it's only 10,000 troops. I find it amusing that um, Castile is not even trying to kill him because they don't have enough transports. They only have two transport ships, so they wouldn't be able to get over there, and they have no access through us. Through us. Uh, I wonder if they want access. No, they don't even want it. Who the fuck are you at war with? Oh, that's right, you're in Austria's wars. Because Austria is still the leader, right? Yeah, Austria is still the emperor, so they're involved in a whole lot of wars. Austria currently has zero troops. Zero. So, kind of sucks to be them. They're getting invaded by, you know, people. Bavaria and Hesse at the same time. Yeah, not going to work out well for you. Do you have a truce with Austria? Yeah, you do. So, he can't attack Austria. He has a truce, so he might attack us. I don't know. We'll find out. We need to go kill his rebels in the New World. Ah, we arrived over here. We have a colonist on the way. Looks like we killed the Catholic Zealots. Very good. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Mm -hmm. Lots of Catholic Zealots. We need to get rid of all these freaking people. We do have a guy to lower revolt risk. That's good. Uh, he's expensive though, 12 a month. I mean, we're losing 38 a month. I think we're going to switch over to the missionary strength guy. Yep. Colonial range is so dumb. I wish we had a statesman available. Uh, let's work on... Well, trade power will give us more money. So let's do global trade power. A little more money will help. Morale of armies, that can never hurt. Yeah, that's fine. You, I think we should... Well, you're on hunt rebels, right? I guess we'll just leave you on Hunt Rebels. Uh, we'll pick you up if we need you. Oh, that's what we should do. Do we have boats over here? We have six transports. That should be enough. Let's go pick up six of you and go kill those Rebels. I forgot I had this fleet over here. 
Oh man, it's fun to be playing Aragon again. Ooh, Catholic Zealots. Damn it! Uh, that's okay, we can drop off six guys. We'll take uh, four and a horse and a, and, a, and a cannon. That'll work. Aw, oh, they got Guadalupe, damn it. We discovered Ojibwa. Okay, so we can colonize further this way. Good. Uh, you guys just group up. Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on, dock up. There you go. Get on the boat. Do we have any other generals? No. You probably don't need him, though. So we'll give it to you. And let's go kill these na these uh, stupid people on the boat. Or on the islands. Kill you first, because you're still active. This one's already fallen, but we'll get it back. Six versus six, we should be okay. With fully funded troops. Alright, come on in. What's the support of the silent? 52. That's eh, fine. Just group up. Kill him. Ooh, Britain broke their alliance with Milan. Nice. Ah, oh, Milan entered a coalition against us. Damn it. I didn't need that. Alright, just drop a siege. Let's come this way. Really? One troop is enough? I guess one troop is enough. Uh, let's leave a little more than one troop. Let's drop... Uh, there. Seven troops. And we'll keep them handy in case we need them for more rebels. But in the meantime, let's uh, deal with these guys. Uh, everyone's declaring war on Austria. Yeah, that's a good time to do it. Castile's still honoring alliances, I guess. Orleans ends a coalition against us. Mali coalition against us. Huron against us. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Castile enter the coalition. Everyone's entering the coalition. Of course. Okay, heal up a couple months. Oh, shit. D dude spawned on my fucking face. Are you kidding me? And we have no morale. Ah, oh, shit balls. Let me slow down and see if we can get on the damn boats. Here. We're going to lose this army here with no morale. God damn it. That's so dumb. Nope, we got off. The, we got on the boats. We got on the boats. Oh Jesus! Thank goodness. Why did they spawn on my face like that? That's retarded. Ah yeah. All right, you're done. You can come back now. Good. Oh yeah. How's the colonies going? Colonies, colonies, colonists, colonies, colonies. Forty-three. All right. Keep working on them. Ah yeah. We can pick up to some different different guys and let these ones heal. Cause that's ridiculous. The timing was just not cool. So we'll go drop you off over in uh, Musket 2. We can uh, help the siege over here by putting our ships in the water. Uh, we're going to have to get relations up with the Pope. Uh, 23 regiments in Pokertush. Where the hell is Pokertush? Ah, um, why don't you go up there then, and we'll meet you there with these guys. Uh, sure. And rebels cross the border over here. These are the Grenada Nationalists, but that's fine. I know what to do with them. Just gonna land some troops on their face. And they're gonna love it. Ah, oh, frickin' more rebels, of course. We need, get, we need to get some of these conversions done. Sixteen? No, pick up all twenty, dude. Fine. Oh shit. Uh bu -bu -bu. let's take out um three cav, that's ten. Uh leave the cannons. We'll do one two less cav, and then we'll do what twelve you. There you go. Get on the damn boat. Don't make this so hard on me. Really? There's a rebel revolt risk? You're kidding, right? I never would have thought. We changed the culture of Atawa. Good.
Come on, little boats. You can do it. I believe in you, boats. There we go. Kill them. I'll get back on the damn boat. And go kill them. We discovered Lake Superior. Cool. More prestige for us. Alright, kill them. In the meantime, we need to group up and kill them. Oh, that's right, they haven't spawned yet. I have to hit the button, I forgot. Well, hurry up so I can hit the damn button. Oh, more rebels in Otawa, and tough. Huh, damn it, stupid rebels. Rebels successful in the Canary Islands, god damn it. Alright, spawn these sons of bitches. Wow, that's rough. Yeah, we need to get our military tech up. Here, just go back on um, Hunt Rebels for now. We'll have to find some other way to deal with these freaking islanders. And you guys, too. Stupid zealots. Alright, you're done. Get on the boat. Let's go down here. Another revolt in Ottawa. Jesus. How many revolts do you need? You know what? Let's group up in Ontario here. Have an even bigger army. Why not? You guys arrived yet. Hurry the fuck up. Alright, good. While we're over here, we might as well go to the New World. Oh, that's right, we have to drop a siege. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, freaking... More rebels. Let's go dump on their head. Where's the new rebels? Down here. Alright, fair enough. You guys gonna hurry this shit up, or what? Can you hurry up? Okay. You know what? Don't even bother hunting. Just kill them, and then kill them, and then kill them, and then go back to Santa. Okay? Easy. We discovered Shawnee. Okay, good. Smugglers running rampant. Stop them or trade efficiency and tax goes down. Either way, it costs us money. This one costs us 118 ducats and stability. This one costs us 10% tax. I think we'll take the 10% tax. I hate to do that, but it's better than dropping stability. I really hate dropping stability. How's our conversions going? 57%. Still got a long time to go. Unfortunately, why are the hostile sieges at the top and the friendly sieges? They, all the sieges be in the same fucking place. All right, turn off hostile sieges. Now turn them back on. Now they should be at the bottom. There we go. That's why I can see both. Cool. All right, tough. St. Kitts, Ottawa, Laborde, and in the knee. Oh, Laborde. Oh, you can do them, right? All right, that should be fine. Where's my freaking boats? Let's go. Reclaim the islands. And try not to take too much att attrition in the process, please. Discovering more stuff, very cool. Let's say Poland declared independence. No, who was that? Holstein declared independence from Denmark. Ha! Take that, Denmark. Oh, Denmark used to be so strong. Not anymore. 
Not anymore. Alright, we're fighting the guys up here. And they're dying. Good. Make them dead. Very nice. Keep up the good work. Okay, America is almost done. Only down to two sieges left. Good. Well, hostile sieges. We still have friendly sieges to work as well. Rebels and mountains. That's fine. You're, hunt you're hunting. That's great. That's all good. Come on. Oh, St. Kitts fell. Damn it. Oh, we got Mercia back. Good. Let's go to the fake capital. Uh, Great Britain's getting more of the islands down here. They have Trinidad and Tobago. Come on, little boats. Alright, we cord tough. Fantastic. Uh, we don't have enough missionaries. We need more missionaries. It might make sense to get the next... Oh, we, should, we probably should have taken religious ideas instead of expansion right here. I feel kind of dumb now, but... Oh, man. Yeah, going through this without religious ideas is painful. Can we do Defender of the Faith? We don't have the money, but... Uh, oh, we are the Defender of the Faith, so that gives us the extra missionary. So we already have that. That's fine. I wish I gave you a conversion bonus, but it doesn't. Yeah, manpower is getting real low. It's all these rebels. Alright, we can tech up our military tech. Do it. Nice. Catching up. Slowly but surely. Drop on their head, get rid of them, so we can actually take these back. There we go. So, split in half. And just do that. That'll work. Alright, Muscovy. Hey, they've spawned again. They are in cargo pole. Good for you, Muscovy. Good for you. France has peasants up here. Oof. Stupid Orléans. Why you gotta be a douche and take four provinces so I can't vassalize you, huh? Why you gotta douche? Why must you douche? Why doth thou douche? Guadalupe. Alright, so we're sieging everything back. Uh, both hostile sieges are about to stop. Assuming we get there in time. We are going to get there in time, right? Nope, didn't get there in time. God damn it. <laughs> it's okay, what we'll do... Let's see, this is still a colony. Let's see, that's still a colony. Shit. Uh, we'll have to leave some troops over there, unfortunately. It's okay, I guess. Stability on courthouses. Yeah. That's true. Sure, bump the stability. It just costs so much right now. French place. Oh god, French place has a freaking revolt. That's no good. No es bueno. That's muy malo. Uh, come back. And we changed the culture of Dauphine. Very nice. All these culture changes and religious changes are going to help us get these revolt risks down. So drop off some douches and go back to Santa so you can keep hunting rebels. Go back to Santa. Okay, everyone's in fake capital. Let's group up and hunt rebels. Make it so. Let's 
It's a targeted collision of Austria and Savoy, but they're both weak. Ooh, Savoy hates the, our guts. Dishonored Alliance. Yeah, that'll do it. It is going away, though, in 90 years. <laughs> oh. And we converted Aragon! Yay! Alright, let's look at our little conversion list. Who still needs converting? Well, some of these guys, some of these guys, some of these guys, some of these guys, some of these guys. Let's do some of the easy ones. Some ones that are taking uh, less time, because... yeah. The less time they take, the higher we'll get our religious unity faster, right? So we currently have modifiers. Let's see, anything bad for, like, missionaries? National tax, stability cost, national tax, missionary strength, relations over time, stability cost, and tolerance. Ooh, tolerance, that's nice. Missionary strength and tolerance. Missionary strength and tolerance. So those two both help our conversions but hurt the um, revolt risk. Trade efficiency goes down production okay settlers settlers missionary strength ah oh, man religious intolerance missionary strength goes up but tolerance goes down and that's going to end in eight years so that's going to be when we're going to start uh, getting rid of revolt risks superintendents revolt risk goes down that's good trade efficiency whatever trading in tobacco all right we can do some more ideas dissolution of the monasteries what does this do? National tax goes up and stability goes up. Mm, I'm not sure we really should do that. As much as I like national tax plus 6%. Kill the rebels. Oh yeah, so the rebels aren't a problem right now. The rebels are gone. There are no rebels, but we do have to resiege this province and these two provinces. And this one. <laughs> and all of them. So put you back on Hunt Rebels. Keep the colonies going. This one's about to finish. That's fantastic. The Canaries has fallen. Good, good. We'll just keep you there for now, bro. Just chill. And once this colony finishes, we can hop on over to Karankawa. 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 Whatever. Whatever it's called. Let's put the speed back up to four. Guadalupe's fallen. Fantastic. Uh, come on and help in St. Kitts. You have Siege, don't you? Yeah, this guy's got Siege, too. We converted Orange. Alright, let's do some more simple conversions. The easy ones. Italy's Wang. Yep, that's a good name. <laughs> claims fabricated on Burgos. Alright, so we have a free Diplo. Uh, we may not even act on these claims right now. It's going to take us a while before we're actually religiously and politically stable. So it might make sense not to declare war on anyone for a while. Uh, if that's the case, I'm not really going to worry about the claims. We can always get more claims later. Let's instead focus on relation. Relations. Let's get Poland to like us. Ooh, he feels threatened by us. I like that. And we don't like him for his religion, but I'm okay with that. Uh, who would be good against Milan? Poland's kind of far away. Austria sucks balls right now. Bavaria borders him, and he's kind toward us. All right. You're not really allied with anyone important, so you might make a good uh, patsy. Let's see, Bavaria can't afford another relation, and his opinion isn't yet negative. But we might be able to work on that. Uh, let's give it a shot. Especially if he takes some land from Austria, he'll be stronger. And then maybe we can use him to pincer Milan. But we need to end this episode now, so thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you, revolts have been revolting, and uh, we'll see you next time where we try to finish closing off the gap here between our lands and the Aztecs. See you then. Have a good day.